Hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. And today we are going to, well basically we everybody has seen the title, so I understand we are going to do the hypertube or hyperloop thing. And we have all of the materials in this box needed to do it. But first we need to unlock it. Over here. And as we can see, uh, basically the hypertube is a transportation device, like a tube you jump into and it you just your body just follows the tube wherever it goes. But there's a... Uh, I don't know if there's been a... There has been an update. Yeah, there was an update. Just now, or recently. And they have added... A new thing! I did not know that. I didn't notice that. But we do have... Uh, over here... In the equipments. Usually only got the beacons and the coffee cup. And I think the ammo pack? Not sure. But we have the color pack and a health pack now. I think it, it un, as you unlock things, because we have the asthma pump over here. And uh, I think once I unlocked that, it added it to the awesome shop over here. So that is very cool. Now, let us see, what do we require to do this? Okay, so we need a couple of sheets of steel and I think that's re encased industrial beam. Yeah. That's what we need. That's what we will get. And... One, two, three of those. Those. And those. Perfect! Let's go ahead and add the necessary ingredients. And let's press that button! Away! Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has oh. processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. <laughs> well said. All right, so we have that, and can we unlock this as well? Yeah, we can. Okay, I think I have. Yeah, there we go. Give me all those. And launch the pod. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. There we go. All right. Bye-bye, Steve. Fly safe. Now we have all that out of the way. There is nothing more to unlock on Tier 4. So we have completely unlocked Tier 4. But I really wanted to get to these hyper tubes because I've seen a video of one of my favorite youtubers john bain you guys should totally go check him out and um yeah there was some funny stuff that happened there and i really want to get my hands on these things so i'm gonna we're gonna do that today okay so what we need is not in that box it is in here let's grab a couple of these i think that's what it requires and organization okay that's the big industrial i think it's in transportation yeah there we go so oh so that's hypertube entrance. Okay, so it requires a steel beam and it requires encased. Oh, okay. So I think the encased industrial beams, they require the steel and concrete. E. That's what it requires. So you're telling me I don't have any more of it. Doesn't look like it. So I did unlock a couple of things before we continue on. Um, all this done. Uh, this, I still need to find... Or oh, still need to buy... Oh, build quick wire. Finished with that. Um, parachutes, that will come in another time. Uh, but that's about it. It's about it. But yeah, the first couple of things, it's done, researched, everything. Good, good, and good. Quickly while we're here, um, I've started to clean up the place a little bit. It looks much, much better here. And we have the wall sockets 
which can, which I am utilizing over here. So just there's no poles and stuff in the way, so it's much much better looking um, connected to the walls, and also yeah, it's like a building on its own. So I don't like I said in the beginning of the series, I wanted to do a whole factory kind of thing where everything's enclosed and whatnot, and then I just started doing this, and it just like ah, let's just go for it, you know. It's, uh, I've already done the work, done all of the. Uh, sweat and tears of all the things so yeah this looks nice I, I kind of like how it looks like it looks really cool and um, this still needs to go like uh, get its own building and whatnot and as you guys can see it's like there's no conveyor belts running anywhere except for like obviously the couple of ones that is producing the raw goods into some goods that can be produced into better goods and yeah everything has been cleaned up a lot because the reason for the good looks is because of like underneath we have our basement our fluty time stuff but we have our basement and all of the conveyor belts and everything i think i've talked about it in previous episodes where we have where i said we needed a basement level where everything runs neatly and down here we can see Everything is running smoothly and then over here we have all the storage and things The only reason why I have these conveyor belts is just to feed into these machines for coupons Coupons, but yeah, so this is the basement level. Everything is running clockwork Looks nice and beautiful Yes, oh man look at all those beautiful 90 degree turns and turns more turns Except for that that does not feel correct Although all of them, they sort of look like that. That ah, lag, stupid. Also, I've been noticing in my recordings that there is a couple of hiccups. I do apologize for that. I don't know what it is. I don't have the world's most beefiest computer anymore. So that is a, uh, um, yeah, the stuffs. Anyways, I think I was busy last time loading. These are these. Oh yes, okay, I remember now. Before we do every anything whatsoever, we have these beams that is being fed into here and then up to there. I just need to get it to turn out into the basement level and being fed into a container back there. So we have all of the necessary things. But luckily we do have everything what we need right here in one central place. Now, with the hyper tubes, what I want to do is get rid of this whole ramp thing and just, you know, get get to the levels, man. Get hello cart. <laughs> it looks like a children's toy, but it's still it's still a cool toy. Um, but yeah, the, getting the hyper tubes to run up to here would be good and fancy. And there's something like a uh what do you call that? There was a a building, a super collider. Uh, in real life now, there's a super collider which has this giant loop which shoots um, atoms or some, I think it was atoms or molecules or something in opposite directions and as they hit each other they, they take readings and whatnot but it travels at incredible speeds. Same thing can be done with the hyper tubes. Um, like you build a whole hyperloop kind of thing, like a loop. Oh, the music is a little bit loud. Give me a second. Just, just because I can't hear myself. Just, yeah, there we go. Much better. Thank you. So what you can do is build it like a little circle, jump into one, and you start just accelerating, accelerating, and then it gets shot out. <laughs> um, if you guys want to see that, I don't think. I, We'll just give it a shot, I don't know, but if you guys want to see like a full thing of it, go check out John Bain, his video about the hypertubes. That was hilarious. I could not stop laughing. There was actually tears in my eyes. I haven't laughed that hard in a long time. But before we continue on, let me quickly go ahead and grab some of the things that we need in order to build some hypertubes, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And this is the Hypertube, and I must say, Elon Musk would be so proud of this. Hyperloop, Hypertube. <laughs> you can 
like build a really cool looking uh hyper tube like what you know musk is doing basically but uh i think i think that's what it is i don't know i don't know but <laughs> um yeah I'm, I'm a big Elon musk fan you know thumbs up if you're also a big fan of him anyways uh let's quickly it's been a like two days for me since i last played so just forgive me if i do sound different but anyways so this is the hypertube you enter like from here it, it's uh it's, let's just do this okay no um stuff things there we go so if we go over here to the where is it oh stackable okay oh yes okay i uh, also unlo unlocked a couple of things i think we did it together i don't know so under here in transportation we get the hyper tube uh the entrance the support the wall support and the hall now the hall uh, i think the entrance actually the entrance is this it has a little thingy on top most like most um machines as we can see they all have so, uh, like a little thingy on them just to show that they are powered and whatnot. As soon as they are powered and you have a tube connected to it, you can do this. Really, really awesome. And this. It's such a great way to enter and exit a base. I love it. It is really cool. It It's literally the thing in Futurama. Like... Yeah, it's literally that. Um, if you guys don't know, go watch Futurama. You guys will understand then. Um, but there are similar tubes like this where you, you actually stand underneath or inside one and you just mention the place you want to go and it sucks you up and you go. And that is really cool. So what we have here is an entrance and an exit. As we can see, as we go downwards, we pick up speed. And if we go upwards, we start losing speed. Alright, so. Now the thing is, let's quickly go down. Actually, we can talk about it uh, up here. So what I did was I added a series of entrances. And from what I've seen, if you can build like a small loop, you make like a... a hadron Collider. Large Hadron. or well, tiny. Micro. <laughs> collider and um, basically what you do is every time you pass pass like you enter and you exit immediately and enter the next entrance uh, you get a small boost of speed so I added a couple of them in a row to boost our speeds in like into incredible sp like as much as possible not incredible but as much as possible there is a thing which you can do is like build four of four tubes with entrances and exits. A couple of entrances and a couple of exits. I can English. Sorry. <laughs> um, but what happens is now you're stuck in this loop and you start just spinning, spinning, going in circles massively with massive speeds. And then you shoot out in a direction. So if you can de determine what direction you're going to shoot out of, you can add another entrance to that and have that... Um, tube take it to far places far away and you can just go you know you will go incredible speeds but i was thinking like why don't we just try to shorten it like having a couple of these guys like each one of these stop lagging each one of these um will act as a booster so if we go down here so what i'm gonna do is Let's go down that way. So let's go ahead and enter from here. That was <laughs> really quick. Let's compare that to a normal one. Like just like a normal tube that goes upwards. And look, watch the speed differences. It is insane. That thing bounced us against this and shot us up until here. That is really cool. I want to do it one more time. It's fun. This stuff is fun. I really like this. 
All right, right. You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's go. Wee. <laughs> and I know if you if I pointed this thing upwards, we would be flying. And if you add more, you would be moving like you you would be traveling so quickly. Um, but yeah, so what I was thinking, um, I just want to spend like a couple of minutes talking about the idea I have is, guys, I tried to turn down my graphics cards or graphics for this game. Um, I just don't know where to switch off the fog. Maybe that will help, but I will figure that out after this video. But anyways, um, like I was saying, my idea is to have an exit or well, an entrance and a series of boosters. If we're going to travel to, like, this us is our power plant over there. I want to have a series of boosters boosting us to get there really fast. And I was thinking, I was thinking, in order to stop, we might have to use this. A uh, jelly thing. I don't know if it will work. Reason being is... I don't know if, if you're gonna if you can smash into the side of it, and I don't have any biomass. I don't have any of that, so I don't know. We we or we can just probably have a wall just like stop instantly. So that is the whole idea. Like, sorry guys, I just want to do this again. It, it's so much fun playing with this stuff. And um, I still don't have enough materials to craft a lot of them. This already costed quite an arm and a leg, but let's do this one more time. Ooh, that is fast. So what I was thinking what I'm going to do is... Hmm. Um, maybe down here. I will have small tubes. We're going to build a quick ne network. Just something small so that I can get around quickly. Um, but just a small network for... Then we just get rid of these walkways and things. Because why do we need walkways? Like, we, we walk... Why don't we just take the tube and not worry about it? And then at one of these the sides in here, have a hole that will... Stop it! Stop lagging, please! That will have us, like, start out um, boosting us and then shoot us into a direction in one of those pipes to there and vice versa, back. And I think, I think that will be a great way to travel. Um, yeah, and I think, I think we will, like, have some floaty time things, but I will build underneath it like some sort of support I don't think I have unlocked the support stuff on the fix it thing uh, foundations yeah I did the walkways but I don't know I really want this oh, maybe maybe that this will also be cool like just that on the bottom I don't know I will see what I can do, just because, just to have something, you know, just to have something. Yeah. All right. So let me quickly jump into that. I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. So I know we didn't do like stuff together in this episode, uh, except for like the whole experiment over here, which you can clearly see. I did go ahead and dismantle, cleaned up everything. Get out of here, bird. Go. Go, shoo, uh, lag. Anyways, so yeah, I do apologize if we didn't do anything like uh, constructing, constructing, talking, those kind of things. If you were into that, I think the last two episodes I did something like that. Um, but this episode, um, it took me quite a while to get the um, first couple of tubes, hyperloops, hypertubes uh, going over there. It took me about an hour or so. It's just to... It was because I had to square out the foundations towards the um, power plants we have there. And that took me some quite... That took quite some time and then to have to place tubes down as... Just no. <laughs> so, but we do have something going. 
actually. So if we go over here, so we have an exit. This is coming from the power supply and this is an entrance as clearly being stated by the air sucked in. Uh, but what we have here is a bunch of boosters. Now, I did do, I did, I did do, yes, I did do stuff. <laughs> I did a couple of tests to see how well this worked and holy crap, it works. It works like a freaking charm. Um, so, we basically have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. No, stop, 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 stop. Go back. <laughs> oh, you guys don't understand how many times that caught me. Basically, I think we have 15. Ooh, that's loud. I think there's about 15 in total. Yeah, 15 boosters and one entrance. Or 14 boosters and one entrance, but it, I think it's a total between 15 and 16 of these things, which is grand. And back at the coal factory over there, or the coal energy, coal power plant, we have about 12 of them over there shooting back. I, I just got like, dope. <laughs> 15 was already like too much, and I thought, like, let's dial it down. It's like, yeah, it, you, it's 12 is still too much. But it works, it works. I know you guys are eager to see it, so let's quickly jump into one. I hope you guys will enjoy this. So let's just do some building, some dismantling and constructing. There we go. Alright, so, normal two holes, we don't see anything coming up in and out of the base. Alright, you guys ready for this? I wish we could see on the other side, but all right, let's go. Look at this. <laughs> and we're here. You know how long it takes me? It takes me a good three to five minutes running from there to here. We got here in almost an instant. An instant. And we're here at a uh, coal place. Because I just said that name uh, like a minute ago and I already forgot but yeah um, <laughs> wow this is just amazing and I had to make like this little s curve because I wanted to make it straight I wanted to do that but there's that cliff in the way over there and I need to squeeze in this many um, entrances upper tube entrances so yeah this is this is a this is something else. I gotta admit, this is really something else. Let's see if we cannot. Where was the thing again? F twelve, eleven, no, ten, F nine. I can't remember now what was photo mode. Uh, it was in the controls. It's around here somewhere. Toggle. Uh, photo mode is P baboon. There we go. That. And what we can do is switch that off. Let's go into our inventory. Check that out. That, that. Oh man, this is so cool. What do you guys think? You guys like it? All right, let's go back. I, got, I just gotta do this. So I put this wall here so we don't just like shoot off into the distance because that that will that will that definitely send us to orbit i wonder if we <gasps> if we can build one that is so intense so fast and shoots us straight up oh but as for another time let's go back oh man this is so cool as you guys can see it's a little bit less power then going towards I feel this is a little bit more acceptable oof yeah gotta build that wall <laughs> over here there we go lovely so yeah I think I think 
This is awesome. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me here on Satisfactory. And I hope I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.